Hello. Well, if you think we've got some beautiful blooms there at the start of the show, wait until you see what we've got on offer for you this hour. This is the one day special. We've got a brand new launch, of course. It's from Simply Made Crafts. We've got something very, very special and unique to show you as well. Now, we will hopefully be speaking to Helen in a little while. And we're, of course, we've got lots of tutorials from Helen. But we'll have a quick look at the one day special first of all. Now, I am going to say this is just amazing. But wait until you see what else we've got in store for you. Now, let's have a look at the details for the one day special itself. You're getting three die sets in total, 17 individual dies. But not only that, you get an 8x8 pearlescent paper pad as well, which is amazing. I've just had a quick flick through this. Let me just show you the paper pad first, then I'll show you the dies now something that's been very strong recently if you look at um, you know themes and things that are you know very on trend at the moment geometrics is something that have been very very sort of uh, noticeable but also different types of flowers large blooms well we've got all these things to offer you during this hour aren't these stunning these papers absolutely beautiful gorgeous colors as well and there's a reason why the color scheme is as it is they're such beautiful colors they really really are eight by eight that's what you get in there that's the paper pad the pearlescent there but of course we have got three sets of dies for you as well let's have a look at the dies themselves We'll have a look at this board first of all. Now, you've got your pretty pots and stunning succulents. That's what the name of the, uh, the actual die sets are. The theme going on here. Now, you've got some beautiful, beautiful dies here. Really good, generous sizes as well. And you can see how you can be able to layer everything up. Uh, I've got everything on two different boards. The pretty pots, you probably won't kind of... So I see what's achievable with these, just looking at the dies. You need to see the samples, but these are absolutely fantastic. You've got a £12 saving. There you go. And, of course, flexi buy option for you as well. Two flexi buys are £24 and 48 pence. Let's have a little look at what can be achieved here. Look at the succulents there and their pretty pots in that gorgeous little carrier. I'm going to show you another sample so you can really see how these work, actually. There we are. There's one of the succulents. Again, look at the shape of the little pot there. It really is pretty. And of course, with the dies, I'm going to show you the board again in a second. In fact, no, I won't. I'll bring another sample in. Because you get also the decorative dies in there as well, so you can decorate each side of these boxes. So pretty. How lovely. Just put a little gift in there, or a chocolate, or a little, a little love note maybe could even just go in there. They're very, very unusual, but absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you this one as well. So you don't just have to make succulents, you can make your blooms as well, of course. There we go. Now, Helen is waiting on the line. I think we're going to go and say hello via Skype. Um, we're going to ask all about this selection. Helen, hello, how are you? Hi, I'm Hi. good, thank you. Oh, lovely to see you, even if it is just on the screen. It's lovely to have your, your company, have you new join us. Tell us about today's show. Tell us about the one day special, first of all, Helen. All right, so one day special is these beautiful, pretty pots. So I've just been inspired by all of these lovely succulent pots that you see on Pinterest. The, the geometric and the triangles are absolutely everywhere. So um, I'm a huge fan of uh, succulents. Um, so they're all over my house. So this is something that I'm really happy to have in my collection. Amazing. They are absolutely fabulous. I know uh, Meg, one of our producers here, loves the succulents as well, so I think these would appeal to her. But it's not just about the succulents, is it? We're talking about the pots, we've got the pretty pots, but also you can create other flowers with the dyes as well. Yes, you can. So the orchids is also one of my favouritest things. So my kitchen windowsill is just full of orchids, all in various types of um, phases of flowering. So I'm oh, just so wow. happy to have this in my collection as well. So the botanicals range really is just my favourite collection so far. Amazing. Now, the orchid die itself is coming up. The pot is included in the one day special. We have got those decorative dies that go with uh, the lovely little boxes as well, which is so beautiful. I mean, you've got the choice whether you want to use the decorative die or not, whether you want to use it as an overlay or as there. That's just been cut directly from the cardstock, hasn't it? It has, yes. Yeah. So with that uh, triangle die, you get the, the outline that will do the mat for you if you want to add a mat and it will do the intricate detail as well that's going to match the um, the lid as well. 
they are just stunning they really really are now helen tell us about the paper pad as well because that is gorgeous it really is i've got to say the colors are amazing it's 150 gsm you have got that pearlescent finish and boy does that uh, look shiny <laughs> that beautiful effect there whoops keep flicking it too fast 24 individual sheets helen and uh, you've also got a little splash of color in there as well which really works well Yes, so I really wanted something extra special for these succulents and we have pads as well for the other dyes, but for the succulent dyes you have the lovely shades of green and again we wanted to add some patterned paper in the geometric style for this one too, so um, you could also use it in your card, so if you were making something as a gift, you know, you can coordinate it really nicely with the rest of the things that you want to make definitely they're stunning they really really are and a nice size to work with being an eight by eight as well so everybody at home details on the screen there these are brand new of course for the one day special we have got more to show you but do take advantage of the 12 pounds saving there 869 509 is the item number helen we're going to continue down the counter we'll say goodbye to you just for a, a second because i think we're going to go into a, a video almost straight away actually because we've got so many fabulous demonstrations sent in by you so uh, thank you very, very much for joining us and hopefully it won't be too long before we see you here at the studio. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. Oh, lovely Helen there. Well, let's have a look at our first demonstration video in a second because we are going to get there really quickly. We've got so much more to show you on the counter as well, waiting to see what's coming up. But let's go to our first demonstration right now. Hello. So in this tutorial, we're going to be working on the pretty pots and the succulents. So I have the stunning succulents die set here and the pretty pots one. And there are so many different options that you can do with this one, but we're just going to go for a simple hexagonal shaped one. So let's pop that aside. So I've cut two of the main side panels and I've folded all of the score lines because they're all done for you and two hexagons. So I'm just grabbing my scissors because we have to trim off one of these sides. So it does come with a square so you can make a square one so this will pop all the way around to make a square shaped base but in order for this to go around a six sided shape we are going to have to trim so if you find your tab on the side count four one two three four that's what we're keeping and then we're going to cut off the rest so always make sure that you have four from the tab there we go so we can discard this you can keep this with the die set just in case you need extra these are pretty handy if you can keep a few around okay so now we're going to add some glue to all of these tabs here so I'm going to start with the with the biggest panel first I'm just going to add glue to the inside of each one and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my hexagon to the inside, wrap it around and then keep it pressed down and then do the same with this one and glue the sides together. Okay, so you should have something that now looks like that. So that's going to be the base for our succulent. And we have this last hexagon there. We're just going to pop that onto the top. Okay, so now we can move on to the succulents and I'm going to move over to my glue gun in a moment. But first I'm going to do some shaping. So you can use a flower tool, but I'm just gonna quickly, simply show you how you can do this with just your fingers. So I'm just going to fold this upwards like that and then curl it around and point it just like that. But you can get creative in your different styles. You know, you can go the other way if you want. You can just really experiment and see which way you like the best and you can also um, look at real succulents and see how they behave as well. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're ready to start assembling. So if you wanted to make this from ordinary cardstock as well, you can do, um, and then you can then do sponging techniques on that as well, especially if you wanted to have a purple tinged succulents. So we're going to start with the center and work our way to the outer ones. And with this, I'm going to stagger them as well so that all the gaps are covered up. Okay, so there we have our succulent there. I think that looks really lovely and now this can pop inside there but we have all this this space there now so we're going to sort that out so I'm going to pop in a polystyrene block see if we can have one the right height that looks like it's going to be a good height so I'm just going to pop in some glue on there pop that in the center you can use oasis if you want but I I had a new appliance the other month and I knew I needed to keep those and here I have some curly moss so I have a green one here and I have a white one like a natural color so I think I'm going to go for the white one we'll see how that goes Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop this one on here and that one on there and I may just go for a different colour for another one on the other side. We'll have a see because there's plenty of other paper packs in my collection that I can use with different shades of green. So you don't have to keep each paper pack to um, what it says on the front. Okay, so I can I could probably just leave it like that actually. I quite like that. And there we have the succulents and the pretty pots. Beautiful, and I have actually got that sample right here as well. Aren't they stunning? Absolutely gorgeous. The paper is beautiful that you get with this uh, set of dies as well. There we are. Details on the screen for the one day special item number 869509. You are saving £12 if you were buying these individually. That's what you would be paying extra. Two payments of £24.48 if you want to take that flexi buy option, of course. But I did promise you more. We have got a lot more. Now, wait until you see these. These are absolutely amazing. Amazing. Now I've never seen anything like this before done with dyes. These are they are so clever. So you've got your terrific ter I knew I knew I'd stick on that one. Terrific terrarium. I've had so many difficult words to say today. Oh, did you see the fabric show earlier? Uh, you're saving three pounds on this one. Twenty-three pounds and ninety-nine pence is going to get you seven dies. Now you're probably looking at that and thinking, oh, I, d I just don't get it. Well, wait until you see the samples. If you've not spotted them already, these are simply—they're not just simply made; they are simply amazing. Now have a look at this. So it's kind of like a little little greenhouse there you can put your succulents in there you can put your flowers in there how clever is that and i've got to tell you almost everybody that's been to the studio thought these were actually made of wood and real glass or perspex because these are so solid the structure of them when they're put together is so clever it's really really sturdy you could actually put real plants inside there you could now we've got another sample here as well what a way to gift plants and something else as well as soon as i saw that because if anybody's been following me i've got this massive doll's house and i've been thinking oh, it would be nice to have a greenhouse for the garden that would actually work really well or how about how about what about this 
something very decorative on the end there, maybe something on, on the slopey bits. That it could be a very posh conservatory as well. So you could put your miniatures in there. You could use it for your plants, but what a way to gift something. I just think these are so, so clever. So now you've seen the samples, you can probably appreciate how these dies are going to work. You can see the different layers, the different fold lines there. That's going to give you the strength, the structure of each of those. Seven dies in total. There's a three pound saving on these, just 23.99. There is a lawful lot of metal for your money there. 887-703 is the item number if you want to go for those. I just think I just think they're such a clever idea. But we do have more because wow, we've <sighs> Helen's just done it again, hasn't she? She really has. We were talking about geometrics and how they are so on trend at the moment. Well, what about a <laughs> I can't say the word again. <laughs> Terrarium, terrarium. What about this one? What about this geometric terrarium? I'm going to keep saying it now so I can practice. Now, think about putting your, your tea light candles in or your LED candles or some fairy lights in there as well. How wonderful would that look? You could hang that up if you wanted to. Whether you're using the dies from the one day special or whether you're using a real plant again, as I said, what a way again of displaying. I mean, that just in the centre of your table or on a coffee table would look lovely in the home, not just as a gift. I just think these are so clever. £20 and 99 pence is going to get you the die set to create this one. Let me just pick that die set up again for you so you can see the different sizes and shapes of the dies. You get three in total. Item number 281388. There we are. Now, you are loving these as well. I knew you would do. They're just simply amazing. Right, OK, moving on. We've got more for you. Now then, we have got the gable box. Now, you just had a little sneaky peek of that at the start of the show because some of the succulents were inside one of them. Uh, let's have a look at the gable box as well because you're getting far more than a box. You're also getting some more florals as well. Now, lovely that you've got lots of different dyes in there, so you've got options of how to, you know, create panels and different shapes in there, different fancy edges. Really, really pretty. I have got a sample to show you that I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, but just before I do that, let's just run through the details here as well. Because you've got an awful lot of dyes here, 25 individual dyes. There is also a freedom saving on this one. £5.90 is a saving for Freedom members. £26.08 is the price. Item number 521095. Now, we've just seen a, a sample there that has been created, but there's more to come as well. Because if we look also at our next item, well, if you're wondering how this was done, this lovely panel here, we can tell you that as well. So the item that we've just seen at the moment with the 25 dies, that's the gable box with the floral, that is how the box has been made, but you're also going to get this die set as well, which has got those panels in. So that's how this has been created. That's how those panels have been put in there. So you've got those choices. You've got the choice of being able to cut out the decorative detail. Or, do you know, there's, there's so many different ways of working with this, and you can create some beautiful, beautiful looks. Use them as stencils as well. That would be a really good idea. Let me just pick up the board with the dies on for this particular set. Now, you are getting both of them, but you've got six dies in this one set as well. So you can see the outer dies and the panels there. So together, that is such an amazing price, isn't it? You're getting all of that for £26.08. 521-095. That's the item number you need for those. What a great way of displaying your flowers again. If you did that all in acetate, that would... Well, we've seen it. We've seen a sample already. It just looks stunning. Now, we have got more for you as well, because moving down again, we've got the gerbera flower, a favourite by many people, actually. Now, let's have a look what we've got here as well, because... You've got the gerbera flower, but you've also got the leaves to go with it as well in the die set. And you are getting another paper pad here as well. Another 8x8. Eight eight. And of course, the colours have been chosen specifically. Now, when you think of gerberas, you think of oranges and yellows and bright colours. Of course, you've got your greens in here as well for the leaves. Really bright and beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. This pearlescent paper is amazing. How lovely. And I can tell you as well, well, you'll see it actually when I show you the samples. This paper is so easy to shape and curl as well. So let's have a look at some of the gerberas. Let me just show you the dies themselves first because you've seen the front of the packaging. That's the size of the dies. So again, really generous sizes. You've got the centres, you've got the outer petals there, you've got those leaves as well. 
Look at this, how stunning is this on the top of a box? I think that's beautiful. That colour as well works so well, doesn't it? That teal with the black, absolutely beautiful. But then, of course, you can make individual flowers. Maybe put them in a pot, maybe. Just have one in a little vase. Perhaps you're having a bit of a tea party or something and you want to make a decoration to go on the table. There's so many ways of working with these. Lovely leaves in them as well, really generous in size. You can see with the pearlescent paper as well, it's got that movement. It catches the light, but it shapes beautifully. Absolutely gorgeous. So if you want your flowers to be a little bit more proud, you can have them. If you want them a little bit more sort of shaped and droopy, then you can have that as well. They are gorgeous. Details on the screen, 542-950. £3 saving on those as well. £26.98 is the price, but you're getting, of course, those dies and the paper pad there amazing love them just got to show you that as well because i love that bag that's using the gerber as well absolutely beautiful didn't want to miss it out right peonies a lot of people this is their favorite flower and again i'm going to show you what you've got because you've got the dies to create your peonies beautiful big flowers again once again you're going to get the pearlescent paper pad that's going to work with this beautiful colors absolutely gorgeous if you can just see then you'll see it on the dies in a second you can see how you've got that uh, area on each petal as well which you know it not only gives detail but it helps shape the flower as well let me just show you the dye board because of course you've got the leaves as well as all the components to the flower how generous in size are these wow beautiful absolutely beautiful and i do think i do think that actually you could create lots of different fancy flowers with these dyes as well if you didn't want to make the peony you could probably lay those in different ways how beautiful is that as well? Oh, these are just stunning. Helen's done an amazing job with these. She really has that beautiful hot pink, the zesty green in there. You've got the darker greens. You've got the geometrics in here again. You've got the pale pink. They are beautiful. Perhaps you've got a wedding to plan for in a year's time or something like that. I don't know when things go back to normal. Everybody's planning ahead. You can make your own table decorations, giftware and all sorts of different things. 785 452 is the item number. And there you are. As I say, you've got a saving of £3. Now, we mentioned the orchid earlier. And I did show you the orchid because we've got the box, the pretty uh, pot that came with it. But the orchid flower itself is an actual die set. And that's what we've got here for you. Now, it's... Uh, a lovely set again because once again we're going to get a paper pad as well so let's have a look at the orchid and then i'll show you the paper pad here we are so you've got the components that make the flower obviously very important the shape of the center of the orchid because it is very specific so that's what you've got there you've also got the leaves in there as well which are beautiful and then let's have a look at the paper pad because you've got some beautiful colors here wow look at this absolutely beautiful those beautiful hot pinks in there bright greens as well again in the pearlescent papers you've got the geometrics there again as well that works so so well just stunning love it absolutely love it i've got to show you this as well i think this is a lovely idea if you're going for the terrarium <laughs> did i say it terrarium <laughs> no i didn't say it the terrarium <laughs> which we are very busy actually on the terrariums uh, just take one of the panels how effective is that isn't that beautiful i love that i just spotted that sample fell in love with that really love it there we are zero six two seven five two if you want to go for the orchid and the paper pad there we've got one more item to show you and this is a very very useful die set as well uh, you found this and we're very busy on it in fact there if you want to go for the ultimate leaves die set this is really really well worth popping into your basket i'm just going to grab that gift box again because i noticed if you look at the ivy leaves that are on this gift bag here you can see they are part of this set now you've got lots of different variations of leaves there they're going to go with all sorts of different flowers you can build height into your projects as well um, so you are going to use that so many times over and look at that price only 11.99 for that 791554 is the item number i'm relieved to say we've got a video coming up but i've just got to say it one more time this is the terrific terrarium yes 
Hello, so in this tutorial we're going to be making the terrific terrarium and this one is going to measure three by two and you can make this in any size you want. Just get creative with how many frames that you want. But for this one, you're going to be needing 16 of these frames here. So this is the die here to make these frames here. And we also have a square one as well. So you can make different sizes. And this one is really good if you wanted to make a cold frame, which there will be examples on the show for you to see. So I'm going to need, be needing 16 of these. So let's get started. I have most of these already done. So this project is perfect for A5 cardstock and you'll be needing the small die cutting machine for this one and there are some longer strips that you are going to be needing to cut so you will be needing a large format die cutting machine unless you want to get fancy with them um, layering and, and running through twice. Okay, so all we have to do is cut 16 of those. So I will do everything in batches. And just a side note, this is the perfect project if you want um, something to, get, to kind of get your teeth into and to enjoy leisurely and maybe even make in two or three stages. So get all of your die cutting done at the same time and then all your assembly and it will come together probably within a few hours. So depending on how fast you work. So I'm going to use my ruler here just to help me. This has done all of the score lines for me for the frame. So they are quite thin. So a ruler, especially one with a beveled edge here, that it goes, it slopes downwards. That will really help um, to get your score lines put in. And I would definitely recommend going for 250 to 300 GSM for this for this project. It will be sturdy once everything's put together, but it just adds that little bit of extra um, niceness to it, I think. So get everything folded up. Okay, so you're going to be needing some acetate now. So do all of your cutting for your acetate at the same time as well. It's just gonna speed everything up if you do it all in batches. So this measures three and three eighths by four and seven eighths. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue that right in the center. So I'm going to use some Cosmic Shimmer. You can use red tape if you have enough of that. You'll be needing quite a bit, but a word of caution for using the glue, be very careful not to smoosh this around and move it around once you've got the glue in place because it can really um, kind of show on the acetate. Okay, so I'm gonna start with these two side edges first with the shorter sides with these flaps on. Those are the sides I'm going to be popping in first and then the sides of the slanted edges are going to go in last. So I'm not going to put any glue on these side edges just yet. So on the last flap that's on the, the outermost section I'm going to add my glue there and then I'm just going to roll it up and then hold that in place. And then while that's drying, I'm gonna add glue to here.
Okay, so now you have your frame there. You can set that aside just to dry fully. And now, just to help me, I'm going to use my scoreboard here just to help me line up all of my, th my frames just to get those glued together. So you can use a glue gun for this. I'm just going to stick with my wet glue here. And what this um, scoreboard is going to do is, is it's going to help us line everything up squarely as we glue everything together. So I'm going to be doing a three by uh, three by two. So I'm just going to add glue all across here. Okay, so I have my two sets of two and my four sets of three. So now we can start assembling. So we are going to add, we're going to carry on using this scoreboard just to help us get the right right angles. And just a, a quick note, the, um, the side panels here go on the inside. They don't pop on on the outside, they pop on on the inside as the extra joining strips and ridge poles are the length of three of the windows. So we're going to add some glue just along here. And you can choose which side um, you would like the frames to be on the outside like this with the, the details or this side on the outside. I'm going to choose the, um, the flat side to go on the inside. Oh yes, part two coming up. Can't wait for that. Do you know, this is such a clever idea. A quarter of the stock has already gone on the terrific terrarium. I've been practicing. Uh, now let me show you the board again because you can see from the video there, very easy to put together, but it's the strength of the structure that impresses so much. Obviously at home, you can't see what we're seeing here or not as close to hand anyway, but I can tell you this is so strong as a structure. Once you put it together, it really, really is. Now the dies themselves, here they are. You can see you've got seven dies. You've got all those score lines on there. That's what gives it the strength. You've got the different sort of triangular areas there as well to create your different shapes and sizes you can build up these to the size you want really if I just pick up the one that uh, Helen was putting together there and we will be seeing part two uh, you can see a fabulous size there really good generous size but you could just go with a couple of the panels rather than three on the side and on the roof if you wanted to if I pick up the other the other one we've got here as well this is kind of like a half version but if I turn that to the side, if you made two of those and put them together, you've got a different style to the previous one. Although it's a similar shape, it's going to look different. But what really impressed me, and it's such a simple idea, I just fell in love with this. Just using one of the panels. How about using these as little decorative hangers, an alternative to a card maybe? And you don't have to put acetate in the panels. It could be a pretty paper. It could be something with a nice texture to it. And I'm thinking because of the strength that you've got when you've put all these together, 
together. If you want to decorate with your different mediums, you could do as well. So you could, I don't know, you could turn one into a very grungy sort of steampunk sort of theme. Uh, maybe put some miniature plants and miniatures in there. It would look amazing. Very busy on these. £23.99. You're saving £3. Item number 887703. I've never seen anything like that before. I think they're just such a good idea now 30 percent of the stock has gone on that last item that i've just talked about there but we have another one now almost a quarter of the stock this is a launch show remember almost a quarter of the stock of the geometric terrarium has also gone a great idea and a fabulous size as well it's not huge but it's not small it's just perfect it makes a statement it's a great gift idea it's a great home decor piece it doesn't have to be the flowers that go in there it could be a candle you could put fairy lights in there you could theme these for different times of the year i'm just thinking now what about in spring you could put easter eggs in there and pretty spring flowers summer you could go with something just as we've got here with the beautiful bright blossoms in there autumn you could you could put i don't know put a skull in there and some Halloween bits and pieces and then at Christmas you can go with your frosty Christmas florals in there and uh, various different bits and pieces to trim that up to make it a very special piece for that type of season as well so £20.99 is going to get you this die set three individual dies amazing value item number 281388 lovely right now we're just going to tell you about one or two seven day savers actually because we've got the smooth stamping card from jelly bean crafts here really good buy this 250 gsm you've got 125 sheets in total eight pound savings so stock up while you can i did have a go with this earlier. i was doing a little bit of uh, inking on it and it was brilliant 12.99 is the price 580149 we've also got an adhesive co collection for you so always stock up on your essentials so you've got your tapes double-sided tapes here you've got your tape runners you've got your uh, looks like your foam pads are in there as well something for every job really 897211 is the item number and everything for just 19.99 we've also got some grey board for you well worth stocking up on this as well now look at this a thousand microns so a good weight you're getting 24 sheets and it is 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters or 12 by 12 inches just 9.99 227 501 now we do want to see the second part of that wonderful terrific terrarium video we're going to see that now i'm sure it's going to be the, the roof going on next Okay, so this is pretty much dry now and I've just trimmed out two pieces of cardstock and I've glued them together. So let's give you some measurements. So these measure seven and three quarters by 10 and five eighths, but just measure your own one just to make sure that you have the right size. Okay, and that is going to glue onto the bottom. Okay, so that is our base done. It's really coming together now. You can literally leave it like that if you wanted an open topped frame. So now we're going to make the roof. Okay, so to help us keep the structure of our roof together as we put it together, you need to cut out two of these triangles and they have these little flaps here and we need to reinforce those with some acetate. So what the easiest thing to do is to glue your triangle onto your acetate and then cut that out. Okay, so we're going to add this now onto this section here. So we want this point here to that point there. And there is a little bit of a gap there. That's fine. That's supposed to be there. So let's get that glued on. And then we can do exactly the same to the other side. Thank you. 
Okay, so I have a ridge pole here. I'll just pop the footage in on how to make that. And now this one will fit straight into the top section just like so. So add some glue. Okay, and so to finish off the bottom section, we have the other die. So we have the two dies here, so we have the other die here with the equal sections. That's going to make a different angled version, so let's get that put on. So these get glued on just like so, so that it is flush with the rest of the roof. And it will, all the angles should fit in at the ends just like that. Okay, so that is the lid section done. Everything is now dried off. So I'm now ready to connect these two together. So I have here two hinges that I've cut using this die here. I've used the same cardstock as well. So I'm just folding these up and then using my bone folder. Okay, so we're going to glue these hinges on either side. Okay, and to finish off the front, I'm going to take another one of these ridge poles from the top here. I have one here already. I'm going to glue that onto there just to make that look nice. So we're only going to add glue to this section here on the lid. Okay, and there we have our greenhouse all finished and ready for our plants. So let's pop some succulents in there. Oh, that really is clever. What a lovely tutorial as well. Very clear, very easy to follow. Now let's give you a reminder of the one day special before we see more of uh, those other items there. Now, the one day special, if you want something to go into your terrific terrarium, then you might want to make the flowers that we've got on offer here. I'm just bringing in the geometric one here because you can see some of the florals inside. You can create these from the one day special. Let me go through the boards because it's not just about those flowers. You can create the um, succulents as well now you are getting three sets of dies here we've got them on a couple of boards for you to see so there's your different size or your different layers there for the petals or for the succulents themselves you can see the beautiful shape and everything's very authentic to the shape of a succulent there isn't it absolutely beautiful and then of course we've not just got that we've got the pretty pots for you as well now that holding on to that geometric theme that's what we're looking at here so you have got those sort of triangles and the geometric shapes here but you've also got the panels that you can use as well if you want to insert those you can if you want to cut out of the cardstock you can uh, you have got the choices let me just show you one or two of the boxes using obviously the succulents there this was the first demonstration we saw we saw the de the succulents being made but also the box has been created from this set as well so you can see the geometrics there if you did want to add in the those extra panels those decorative panels and you want to create something like this you could do of course they can be used on the larger boxes as well it doesn't have to be that size it can be whatever you want it to be 
Uh, a different way of working with them as well is to cut out the decorative area straight out of the cardstock rather than using it as an overlay. So you've got that choice as well. Let me just bring in this sample for you because, again, this is using the dyes for the flowers or the succulents again here. Beautiful flowers. If I just turn that to the side, you can see that goes nice and flat from the side and it just stands up and pops out. What a great idea. Absolutely beautiful. But it's not just the dyes. You are getting the paper pad as well. And these are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the amazing quality 150 gsm there's 24 sheets in total you've got your different greens in here they are double-sided you've got your geometric shapes going on there as well that splash of orange which adds the color so some decorative ones some plain ones so you've got the best of everything but the quality is absolutely beautiful it really really is there's your one day special if you want to take advantage of FlexiBuy, we've got that for you as well. You are saving £12 on the bundle. You've got two payments of £24 and 48 pence if you want to go for this one. There we go. 869-509 is the item number that you need. Now, moving away from the one day special, let's go back. This has been so busy. Over a third of the stock for the terrific terrarium has now gone. 23.99 is going to get you this amazing die set this is something very very clever indeed designed by helen herself of course we've seen that lovely demonstration how easy it is to put this together seven individual dies but once again i'm just going to remind you that you don't have to make the size that helen was making there this is the actual size that helen was creating it's probably the exact same um, greenhouse actually do you know whether you want to gift something in there whether you want to keep that for yourself it's entirely up to you the structure of it is so solid you could decorate with your mediums as well it's not just going to disintegrate obviously acetate has been used in those panels but because of the dyes it gives you options as well so you can create different shapes i love this one I mean, you don't have to put acetate in there either. Maybe if you just wanted to, that to look like a potting shed or something and put a little door on the front, you could do that. But it works so well. Because it's a terrarium, then obviously you'd want the see-through sides. But I'm also thinking, what about putting real little seedlings in there? on your windowsill if you put some plastic in the bottom or make sure you protected that bottom layer you could actually stand some little pots in i wouldn't suggest pouring water into the terrarium itself take the pots out to water them but you've got kind of that greenhouse effect going on in your own home if you've got them in the sunlight so think about that as well just got to show you this little sample again it's very simple but i love it i just love that using the frames individually and using them just to put your little your little florals on you could put photographs behind there as well they're great little gifts are so again you could use these for your own home decor with your scraps of card they, they will cost you virtually nothing to make 23.99 a three pound saving item number 887703 and um, we are i've got to remind you we are very busy on those this is a launch show i would suggest if you want them check those baskets out as soon as possible are they going to last to the end of tomorrow probably not right okay moving down this one has also been very very busy we're thinking probably if you're going for the terrific terrarium you're also going for the geometric as well i particularly like this because i can see as i said earlier theming this in so many different ways i can honestly i can see a little candle in there and some poinsettias around the candle for christmas i can see easter eggs in there theme that you could change it do you know when you've got the dyes you don't even have to use the same one and keep changing the contents you just make a different one for each season what about hanging those up and having maybe three hanging at different heights as well they would look lovely maybe in a conservatory where it gets so hot that your real plants die because it's way too hot what about putting flowers in like that and then hang, having them hanging from the ceiling at different heights? That would look really, really nice. Love that idea. Right, there's the dyes themselves. You've got three of them in total. Oh, I'm just thinking as well. I'm going back to the weddings and sort of christenings and that sort of thing again. But what about table decorations, your centrepieces? Just, oh, it's endless, really. It really is. Three dyes in total. They're the dyes you're getting. £20.99, a £3 pound saving, and item number 281388. Now, moving down again. Oh, now then, I was meant to bring a box with me. I might just have to run away for a second. Uh, the Gable box. 
Now you're liking this as well, 20% of the stock has gone. Now I'm going to bring this one in first because you are getting a couple of sets of dies here because you can put the decorative panels in as well. As you can see has been used here. I love that sort of offset effect there. So you can see the two different colours. Look at that on the other side as well. It's kind of a sample that's showing you more than one way of using these at the same time. You have got that lovely shaped handle there and the little slot that die cuts out. So you can clip that into position. It's all shaped for you. So that's going to hold nice and tight. What a wonderful way, again, of gifting. I'm thinking a couple of cupcakes in there would, look, would be fantastic. Yeah, what about really posh sandwiches and deliver them in that box? That would be a good idea. But let me show you this one as well, because if you're going for the one day special, obviously you've got your succulents. What about using your acetate again so you can see what's actually in the box? Again, cupcakes would work very well in there. Isn't that pretty? Really, really pretty do like this a lot the price there is on the screen and there's a freedom price for you as well you're saving five pounds and 90 pence as a freedom member 26 pounds and eight pence item number five two one zero nine five 25 individual dies in that set let me just pick that up again and show you why because you get all these extras as well your labels and your florals and lots of different panels it's just incredible value right now then the next one the gerbera one of my favorite flowers and you tend to think of very bright colors um your your oranges your yellows but you know there's no end to what colors you can choose you can go for your soft pinks if you want you can go for your pastels but what about your teals doesn't that look lovely on the black really really like that you can bring out the detail in the center of your flowers as well you're getting the dyes to create all these different layers you could shape those as much as you want as well you're not just getting the petals you're getting the leaves as well but you're getting even more than that because you also get a paper pad with this one. So your pearlescent paper pad on this occasion comes with those very bright, vivid colours, the oranges, the yellows. You've got some green in here as well. you kind of got those geometrics running through to a point as well on this one. But those beautiful blossoms, those large flowers, really stunning. There we are. I've just got to show you these extra flowers in the front as well, just while I'm here, because with the pearlescent paper, you really can shape these beautifully. I mean, they hold their shape, but they're very soft and malleable. So if you wanted to make the flower so it sat more proud, you could do. If you want to change the shape of the petals so they droop a little bit more, you can do as well. There we've got the details on the screen, 542950 then moving on from the gerbera we've got the peony for you a beautiful flower if you've got peonies in your garden you're very lucky because they are stunning flowers but if you haven't don't worry you can make your own put them in a vase you've also got a paper pad with this one as well i'm going to pick up the dies because you really need to see the size of the dies here how much metal is in there this is how the prices are determined so for getting this whole set plus a paper pad as well for 26.98 is absolutely amazing absolutely beautiful flowers there 785452 and you're getting those lovely hot pinks pale pinks and greens in your pearlescent paper pad as well then moving down again we've got the orchid maybe you want to go for something a little bit more delicate a little bit more exotic perhaps well the orchid is a beautiful flower you saw it on that earlier sample as well where one of the panels had been used with the orchids just onto the front of the panel but what about doing what Helen's done here and applying those flower heads onto a stem just using a twig from the garden and then of course you've got the pretty pot at the bottom that's come from the one day special that again in itself is a lovely piece of home decor or a great gift there you've got the dies to create the flower you've also got the uh, paper pad in this one as well the pearlescent paper pad so you've got those sort of very sort of bright pinks in here again your greens your pale pinks your geometrics going on they work beautifully for your orchid flowers obviously they've been chosen especially now finally and i do love this it, this one has been busy and I'm not surprised and I would say for anyone that wants foliage in their sprays of flowers which you should always add because it makes a difference this is going to be a go-to die set 11.99 is going to get you seven dies in total this is so useful because you've got your small vines of ivy there your smaller leaves you've got your larger leaves you can add height you've got your fern kind of leaves in there your exotic sort of leaves just a great bundle three pound is the saving on this one 11.99 is the price item number seven nine one five five four phew now there is another show at eight o'clock and it's going to be alex i wonder if she can pronounce terrific terrarium 
I bet she's practicing right now. Did I crack it at the end of the show? Did I say it right? I did. Oh, so pleased. Got to do it all over again tomorrow. Uh, now, if you do want the terrarium, you need to check out your baskets. We are extremely busy for that. Don't think that starts going to last, whether it's the first bundle or the geometric one. Please, 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 if you want those, don't hesitate. We are extremely busy. Now, that's the end of another hour for me. I'm coming up in a little while. I've got one more hour left tonight, and I'm so looking forward to it because Rob's here from Add Some Sparkle. So I'll see you in a few minutes.